Ted. This is Archie. Come over right away. It's a matter of life or death. Oh, relax, Archie. Relax. <laughs> Know and love so well, Archie Andrews and all his gang. And now for our weekly visit to Riverdale. It's early evening as we look in on the Andrews home. Archie is in his room studying. Mr. Andrews has gone downtown for some cigars, and Mrs. Andrews is straightening up the living room. Lavender blue, dilly dilly. Hey, what on the set? All right, all right, I'm coming. Fred, what on earth are you... Fred, what's that? Man, look, look out of my way. This box is heavy. I can't hold it all night. Oh, Fred, what is it? Yeah, you see, dear, you see. Now, oh. quick, move, move that lamp over so I can set this down. All right. There. Boy, that weighs a ton. I should have let him deliver it, but I was so anxious to use it, I brought it home myself. But, Fred, what is it? <laughs> you see in a minute, dear. Now, just be patient, be patient. Now, just just hand me the scissors off my desk, and I'll open it. All right, yes. But I don't see why it has to be such a mystery. <laughs> oh, no, no mystery at all. Just want to surprise you. Well, you said you were going downtown for some cigars, and you come back with this. Well, I found the store was still open, and I bought it. You know, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. Funny to buy one for a long time. But wanting what? Well, you see, I almost have the box cut open now. Oh. There you are, dear. How do you like that? <gasps> Fred Andrews, a television set. Uh-huh. Why, Fred, I never dreamed you'd buy a television set. The last time I asked you about one, you said they cost too much money. I know, dear, but they've come down quite a bit in price, and I, I decided we might as well keep abreast of the time. Uh-huh. Do you like it? Oh, Fred, I love it. I adore it. When can we see something on it? Well, the man at the store is sending someone out to install the aerial in three or four days. Mm-hmm. But he said we should be able to get one or two stations right now without any aerial. What, Fred, that's wonderful. Yes, Mary, I think it is, too. From now on, I expect to spend many a long, comfortable hour right in my armchair watching television. Yes, sir, boxing matches, movies, Broadway reviews, everything right in my own living room. Fred, never Why, mind I... the speeches and turn it on. I want Hiya, to... Hiya, Mom. Hiya, Dad. I was... What's that? Why, aren't you... A just... television set. Yes, It Archie, was... Yes. When did we get it? Well, just oh, boy, a... isn't that terrific? Yes, When Archie. can we see something on it? Just wait till I tell the kids Archie, that we got I... a television set. Oh, boy, Archie. thanks a million, Archie, Dad. You're... Thanks a billion. Archie. Thanks a billion. Oh, Archie! Archie. Archie. All right. So you're happy we got a television set. Now, will you please calm down? I carried this set all the way home so I could see something on it tonight. She was okay, Dad, but will it work without an aerial, hmm? Well, the man said we might be able to get one or two stations before they install the aerial. Oh, boy, that's well. Turn it on, Dad. Turn it on. Now, in a minute, Archie. In a minute. But first take this carton and put it in the trash can. Now, I'll lift the set up and you you pull the carton out. Okay, Dad. Go ahead, Archie. Got it, Dad. Uh, there. I'll be right back. Oh, boy, television set. Now, Mary, all I have to do is plug it in and we'll see Friend. what we... Yes, dear? Before you plug it in, we've got to put it in a better place than that. Well, what's wrong with where it is? Fred, you can't leave it in the center of the room like this. It ought to be off in the corner so everyone in the room can see it. Well, maybe you're right. Um, put it on that end table over there. All right, Mary. I'll just lift it up and, and, and put it down here. There. How's that? Oh, no. Yes, I thought you did. Oh, no. Mary, what's wrong with it here? Well, that table's too low. We'd practically have to lie on the rug to see anything. Well, it is a little low, isn't it? It certainly is. Um, Fred, I know. Put it on the bookcase over there. Well, all right, dear. That should be better. I'll, I'll pick it up again. Can I help? No, no. Just look out of my way. Hey, now, how's that? Oh, Fred, no. Yes, it is, my dear. No? Mary, now what's wrong with it? Well, it's too high. Oh, but the I... The only place to put it is on your desk over there. On my desk? 
But, Mary, it'll cover the whole desk. Fred, it will not cover the whole desk. Do you want to see something on this set, or do you just want to put it where it's out of the way? Oh, me. All right, Mary. On the desk it goes. There. Now, how's that? Fred, that's fine. See, it only takes up about half your desk. Half the desk? Oh, sure. That's great. Fred, that's a perfect location for it. Just the right height, and you can see it from every part of the room. Yes, Mary, I, I suppose you're right. But for Pete's sake, let's hook it up. I want to see something for my money. All right, dear. Go ahead. I Come away, away, Dad. Yes. Gee whiz, you're not going to keep the set over there, are you? Well, yes, Archie. What's wrong with keeping it there? Well, gee whiz, Dad, you're supposed to face the set away from the light. And that way it faces right toward the window and you won't be able to see a thing on it in the daytime. Oh, good grief, it does face the window, doesn't it? I never thought of that. Fred, you'll just have to put it on the coffee table. On the coffee table? Mary, that's where I had it in the first place. Well, it's the only place for it, I guess. Oh, fine. All right, Mary, I'll put it on the coffee table. But I warn you, this is the last time I'm going to move this set. I want to turn it on, not lug it around the room all night. Yes, dear. You won't have to move it again. Well, all right. There. Now, for Pete's sake, let's see some television. Archie, put this in. Okay, Dad. It's in. All right. Now, I'll turn it on. See, was nothing happened. Archie, give it a chance to warm up. Yes, yes, Mary, but we don't seem to be getting any pictures. I told you we'd need the aerial first, Dad. Archie, look, the man said at least one of the channels should work without an aerial. Now, let's let's just dial around and see what we can find. Fred, the screen flickered. Flickered, yes, Mary. That's because I changed stations. Oh, but I don't see anything. No, nothing on that channel. I'll I'll try another. Nothing there either. Nothing there. Oh, dear. I hope we can see something. It'd be just my luck that we won't. Well, how do you like that? I tried every channel, and we don't get a single thing. Oh, I don't think you tried this one, Dad. Now, oh, Archie, I tried them all. Gee, Dad, I was sure you missed this one. Well, try them again if you want to. All right. And how do you like that? Here I was looking forward to a nice evening, sitting in my armchair and watching television. With and us, all... too. Beautiful India. What was that? I got it. Fred, it's on. Good grief, it is on. Archie, how did you do it? Well, I tried this channel, Dad, the one you missed. Archie, that's wonderful. Mr. the travel on. Mm. Oh, yeah. About India. Yes, mm. India. Land of the Mohammedan and Hindu. Oh, sweet. Land of the elephant and the tiger. <laughs> Land of gold and spices. Mm. India, land of mystery. Well, 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 how do you like that? We're going to see television tonight after all, and a travelogue. I love travelogues. Me too. Fred, can't you get a better picture? Better? Yes, it's so gray. Oh, all right, dear, I'll just adjust this gadget here. How's that? No, that's too dark. Well, how's that? No, that's too light. Well, how's this? Fred, that's fine. Yes, Dad, that's fine. Yeah, I wonder what that building is they're showing. The Taj Mahal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, the beautiful Taj Mahal. Most famous mausoleum in the world. Well, come on, pull up some chairs, folks. Turn off the lights. We're all set to watch this travel on. Here's a chair, Dad. Thanks, Archie. I'll sit on the couch here. And I'll sit in the armchair. Fine. Now, turn off the lights, Archie, and we'll be able to see it nice and clearly. Okay, Dad. Oh, my, that makes quite a difference. Uh-huh. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, boy, it sure is. Oh, this television is terrific. Yes, it is. Yes. The Taj Mahal was built in the 17th century by Shah Jahan for himself and his wife. Boy, that Taj Mahal is a regular palace. It sure is. It is built of gold and precious jewels of every oh. description. Historians tell us it took the labor of 20,000 yes, men. Was that the doorbell? For 20 I didn't hear the doorbell. Years did I. This beautiful edifice. 
Sit on the chair and use the doorbell ring. Turn the set off so we can tell. What's the matter? Turn it off for just one second. Oh, all right. There, it's off. Now, where's your phone? There you are. I told you I heard it ring. Oh, great. I guess you did hear it at that. Of course I did. Uh, aren't you turn the light on and go see who it is, dear? She was okay, Mom. But I don't know why somebody had to come here just when we were watching our first television program. Hello. She was Jughead. Who'd you expect? The ghost rider in the sky? <laughs> no, Jughead. I did not expect a ghost rider in the sky, and I didn't expect you either. Come on in. I'm watching television. Television? Archie, did you say television? Yeah, we just got a new set, Jughead. She whiz. Oh, hello, Mr. Andrews. Hello, hello Mr. Andrews. Hello, Jughead. Gee whiz, you got a new television set, huh? Yes, Jughead. Why don't you turn it on? We turn it off. You can see all kinds of swell programs on television. Yes, Jughead. I always watch it over at Pinky Schultz's house. Yes, Jughead, but see I... howdy doody. It's howdy doody time. It's howdy doody time. Jughead, I... can see Milton Brown. I'll give you a shot in the head. What the hey? What the hey? Jughead, I... You... Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. I'm Kukla. I'm Ollie. I'm Fran. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Jughead, all right. So your howdy duty, Milton Berle, and Kukla Fran and Ollie. Not to mention to it, to it, to it, to it, to it. But I was watching a travelogue on the Indian, and I want to watch it some more, if you don't mind. I don't mind. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll even stay and watch it with you. All right, Jughead. You may stay and watch it with us, but... I better call my mother and tell her where I am, though. Oh, fine. All right, Jughead. Go call your mother. Okay. Boy, I'm sure glad you folks got a television set. Mary, I can see a television set has certain disadvantages. Riverdale 689, please. Gee whiz, Dad, turn the set on before we miss the whole thing. I am, Archie, I am. And so we come to Bombay, chief seaport of Western India. Hello? Huh? A city with what? a population of one I can't hear you. million people. Speak a little loud. Louder. 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 Turn your no, head off. Yeah, but Jughead, I'm not... Turn it off for one minute. Oh, oh all right, oh, Mary. I'll turn oh, it off for oh, one minute. Right. Thanks, Mr. Andrews. Jughead, you're welcome. But I'd like to know why I can't Fred, watch this. Jughead will be through with his call in a minute. Then you can watch your travel off. Call, Mom. This is me. Jughead. <sighs> yeah, might be Andrews. I'm watching television. Yeah. Television. Yeah, they just got a new set. What? I don't know where they got all their money. Oh, fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be here for a little while. Yeah. Okay, I will. Bye. Well, Jughead, are you through with your call? Uh-huh, my mother said I could stay. Well, that's fine. She said I could even have supper here. Supper here? Oh, for pity's sake. She was, Mom. What about getting some supper? Oh, I forgot all about it in the excitement of your father's bringing home this television set. Gee, you got to get supper. I'm hungry. Now, Jughead, be quiet. <laughs> Fred, I'll have to go get supper. All right, Mary, get supper. But I want to turn this set on. Gee, Mom, I got a good idea. Why don't you have a light supper, just a sandwich and some milk, and then we can eat right here and, and watch the television. Well, I'll see, that's a fine idea. Yes, yes, it is, it is. Just, just make us some ham sandwiches or something. All right, I'll bring them in when they're ready. All right, now for Pete's sake, let's have no more interruptions. I want to watch this travelogue. Okay, Dad, turn the set back on. All right, now turn the lights out. Okay. Now I'll turn the. Hey, what you do? Jug, I it's just dark in here. Uh, Jug, I'm I. I'm afraid of the dark. Jughead, please. I don't even sleep in the dark. Jug, please. It's too dark with the lights out. Jughead, will you please be quiet? Who me? Yes, you. <laughs> we simply turn the lights out so we can watch the television better. Now there's nothing to be afraid of. Archie and I are right here with you. And when I get the set turned on, it won't be quite so dark. Well. Now, just be quiet and sit down. Okay, I'll sit right here. You jughead, you're sitting on me. Gee, I'm sorry. I couldn't see anything. Well, get off me and get on your own chair. Okay, okay. I'll sit over here. Hey, uh, jughead, you're sitting on me. Gee whiz, I'm sorry. Well, so am I. And get off me. Okay, okay. Well, where's my chair anyway? To your right a little. Oh. Okay. 
Well, what was that? Jughead, what happened? Sat down on a chair. You told me it was there, but it wasn't. Oh, great. <laughs> Jughead. A fine trick that was, Archie. Jughead. You tell me there's a chair there, and when I lower my landing gear, no chair. Jug, I just you wanted... You pull that chair out from under me, I bet. Jughead. Huh? Jughead, I did not pull any chair out from under you. You just missed the chair. It's right here. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see it now. Okay. Now, for Pete's sake, sit down on it. And be quiet. Okay, okay. Now, I'll turn the shirt on. The River Ganges, some 1,500 miles long and three miles wide at the widest places, is the sacred river of India. It is the sacred yes. duty yes. of Hindus. Was that the door again? To wash I didn't the water. I heard it. She was sad. You better shut off the set again so we can tell. Oh, but well, maybe something important. Oh, me, all right, Archie. I'll turn result. it off again. There, you see. I told you it wasn't the doorbell. I no fine. I guess it was the door. Now I'll get it, Dad. As soon as I turn this light on. There. I sure wish people wouldn't keep ringing that doorbell when we're watching television. Hello, Archie. Well, gee, hi, you Betty. Come on in. Well, thanks, Archie. Mother sent me over to return this salad bowl she borrowed from your mother. Oh, okay, Betty. I'll give it to her. But, Betty, guess what we got? What? A television set. A television set? Archie, you're kidding. No, I'm not. Come on in and see. It's Betty, Dad. Oh, hello, Betty. Hello, Mr. Andrews. Hello, Betty. Hi, Jug. What are you doing here? Watching television. Oh, you do have a new set, don't you, Archie? Yes, Betty. It's a pretty good set, too. When would you get it? Well, Just we got tonight. it. Sorry, does it work yet? We're watching the travel art. Jughead, whose set is this? Mine or yours? She was I was just telling Betty about it for you. Well, it's my set, and I'll tell her myself. What's Archie, wrong with I... my tell her? Well, I want to tell her, and I don't think it's you. Archie! Now, look. It so happens this is not Jughead's set or your set. It's my set. And I don't care who tells Betty about it. I want to watch it. You hear? Yes, Dad. All right. Now, if Betty wants to watch it, she may. But I want all of you to sit down and be quiet. Okay, Dad. Pull up a chair, Betty. Well, all right, Archie, but I have to be home for supper soon. Have supper here. I am. Oh, fine. <laughs> Jughead, who wants oh, you to... Golly, may I have supper here? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so, Betty. We're just having some sandwiches right here so we can watch the television at the same time. Oh, great. Archie, will you please be quiet? I want to turn the set on. Okay, Dad, okay, but I better tell Mom to make enough for Betty, too. Oh, fine. All right, Archie, tell yes, your mother... Yes, Dad, I did the milk, yes. I did... Oh, Betty, hello. Hello, Mrs. Andrews. Betty's staying for supper, Mom. What? Uh, oh, they're fine, dear, fine, but... I, um, uh, well, I'll have to take this tray back and make some more sandwiches. Oh, sorry, if you don't have enough, Mrs. Oh, Andrews. Oh, no, I have enough, dear. Uh, I just have to make them, that's all. Oh, all right, Mrs. Andrews, if it's no trouble. Well, oh, Betty, it's all set now. Thanks, Archie. All right, now, do you kids mind if I turn the set on? Well, go ahead, Dad. All right, now, turn the lights out. Okay, Dad. Now, I'll turn the set on. I want to see the Ganges River. Towering peaks of the Himalayas. Greatest mountain range in the world. Oh, great. We missed the part about the river. The Himalayas extend approximately 2,000 miles along northern India. Well, Betty, how do you like it? from 100 oh, golly, Archie, that's awful. Yeah, awful. Wind. Awful? What's awful about it? Well, the glare is so strong. Glare? Uh-huh. Hey, you're they supposed to wear sunglasses when you watch television. Sunglasses? Uh-huh. China, then you can see the picture Indo much China, better. And it's better for your eyes, West, too. Yeah. They wear sunglasses at Pinky Schultz's house. See, with Dad, turn the set off and I'll run upstairs and get our sunglasses. Archie, I can see this picture perfectly well without glasses. But that's sunglasses, Mr. Andrews, and you'll see what a difference it makes. Yes, but Betty, I... Yes, yeah, much better. You don't want our eyes to go bad, do you? Oh, me. All right, Archie, I'll turn the set off again. I'll turn the lights on. Well, go ahead. Get sunglasses. But frankly, I could watch this program a lot better if you kids wouldn't give me so many bright suggestions on how to watch it. I think our sunglasses are right down here on this floor. Yeah, here they are. Here are yours, Dad. Thank you. And you can wear my mother's, Betty. Well, thanks, Archie. And I'll put mine on. What about me? You can just squint. <laughs> Oh, you don't care about me. Just I don't go blind for you, It doesn't matter if the grand ball is my eye. Go ahead, for Pete's sake, be quiet. Who, me? Yes, you. 
You can wear my glasses. Oh, sorry, Mr. Andrews, what'll you wear? Jesse, I did not want any sunglasses in the first place. The picture was absolutely fine the way it was, but I want to see it. You kids will only sit still and not keep making many bright suggestions. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Andrews. All right, all right. Now, turn the lights out, Archie. Okay, Dad. Now, I'll turn the set on. You know, those pictures of the Himalaya Mountains are interesting. Is the Bengal tiger <laughs> the largest type of tiger found anywhere? Oh, Grace, we missed the part about the mountains. Gee, that's the first green tiger I ever saw. Jughead, that's because you're wearing colored glasses. And be quiet. The Bengal tiger generally hunts its food near water holes and small ponds, waiting for deer, antelope, wild hogs, and buffalo. Well, I can see much better now. Can't you, Archie? Yes. It's oh, fine. It cuts out all the glare. You ought to try them, Mr. Andrews. Here, yeah, try mine, Dad. Oh, I can't see a thing. Oh, no, great. If you kids like the sunglasses, wear them. If you don't like them, don't wear them. But I want to watch this travel out. Do you hear? Okay, Dad, okay. Tigers have been known to kill 32,000 cattle in India in a single year. Here you see the native... He wins. Now what? Trap the door again. What? I didn't hear it. Oh, I did, Mr. Andrews. I did, too. Turn the set off, Dad. You'll see. Oh, me. All right, Archie. I'll turn it off. But so help me. If that bell doesn't stop ringing, I'm going to disconnect it and nail the door shut. There. It's off. And... See, Dad, it is the bell. Oh, me. Well, go answer it, Archie, and hurry up. Okay, Dad. I'll turn the light on. I sure wish we could watch that travel out for just one minute. Boy. Hello, Archie. <laughs> oh, fine. Hi, y'all, Archie King. <laughs> it's awful good to see y'all, Archie. See ya. Oh, you doing wearing sunglasses in the house? All of these? Well, I'm wearing them to watch television, Veronica. Television? Uh-huh. My goodness, do you have a television set? Yeah. Hey, come on in and see it. All right, I'd love to. Oh, hello, Miss Stranger. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Betty. Oh, hello, Jackie. Hi, Veronica. My goodness, are you all watching television? Uh-huh. We're all having supper here, too. You want some, Veronica? Oh, great. Jughead. Would you please quit well, inviting I'd love to. I don't have anything special to do anyway. Oh, me. Order another sandwich, Archie. Okay, Dad. Well, here the sandwiches. Oh, Veronica. Hello, Mrs. Andrews. <laughs> Veronica's staying for supper, too, Mom. Staying for supper? But, Archie, I just finished making all the sandwiches. Well, couldn't you make just one more, Mom? Hmm? Oh, oh, dear. All right. Take this tray back and make some more sandwiches. You can leave my sandwich here. Judge, be quiet. <laughs> now, Veronica, will you please pull up a chair and sit down? This set has been off and on ten times in ten minutes, and I'm getting... Oh, to... goodness. That's not a very large screen, is it? No, no, Veronica. I guess it isn't. The screen but... on our set's about twice that size. Yes, Veronica. We get a good a... large picture on our set. Veronica, I... I don't know how you can see anything on this set. Veronica, all right. I can't see anything on this set when it's turned off. Will you please sit down? All right, Miss Trinus, I won't say another word. All right. Now, I'll just turn this... Oh, fine. Yes, Mom? I have so many sandwiches and so many glasses of milk now. I need somebody else to carry this tray in. Okay, Mom. Jughead, you go help, Mom. Me? Yes, Jug, you. I've been hopping up and down to answer the door every two minutes, and I want to see some of this travel on. She is okay. I'll go, but I don't know why. Well, now, if you have that settled, may I turn on this set? I want to see them capture that tiger. Well, sure, Dad. I'll turn the lights on. Okay, all right. Now, I'll turn the set on. Known as the Island of Ceylon. Oh, fine. We missed the tigers. Yeah, I, I guess this is about how they grow tea. Ceylon is in the Indian Ocean, 60 miles southeast. Of Hindustan. Here comes the food. With a nice. Oh, great. Turn the lights on. Oh, no, you don't, Judge. You can pass the sandwiches out with the lights off. It's not that dark. Well, okay. Wait till I set this tray down someplace. What happened? Oh, I don't know, but I'm always wet. Where is they still 
the grass and milk. Oh, right down my back. Oh, oh she oh, wins. Oh, she turned the lights off. I'm trying to, Dad. Oh, here it is. Eh? Oh, dear. <laughs> Veronica's dress is sopping wet. I asked somebody to turn the lights on. Jughead, never mind whether you asked somebody to turn the light on or not. And Veronica, please stop that crunch. <laughs> Veronica, please. I... My dress is ruined. Veronica, I... Ruined. Veronica, I... Veronica, I... I'm going to go home in a wet dress and it's a brand new dress. Veronica, look, I'll buy you a new dress. Yes, I will. And you can go upstairs with my wife and she'll lend you one of her dresses to go home in. All right, Miss Stranger. That'll be fine. I hope my dress is fit you, Veronica. Well, we have that settled. Now, for Pete's sake, let's watch this program and eat your sandwiches and have no more trouble. Okay, Dad. Okay, I'll turn the light on. And I'll turn the set on. Notice the extremely the primitive bombing methods used by the bomb. I don't have them. You don't. Betty, you have them? No, I didn't even see them. Will you please be quiet? Well, gee, Dad, we're just looking for the sandwiches. Where did you put them? On your armchair. All right, I can find it. Uh, on my armchair. Oh, good grief, I'm sitting on them. Sorry. Oh, boy. Mr. Andrews is hatching ham sandwiches. <laughs> turn the set off. I am, I am. Archie, turn the light off. I am, Dad. Why on earth did you sit on a sandwich? Mary, I'm oh, hungry. Just and we're I... missing the whole program. Oh, Archie, never mind. Sandwiches are ruined. Betty, I they just... didn't do your suit any good either. Yeah, now, just a minute. Just one minute. This nonsense has gone far enough. Too far, in fact. Yes, yes Mr. Andrews. Yes, dear. Yes, Dad. And how? Just be quiet. Now, half hour ago, I wanted to settle down to a nice, comfortable evening in my armchair and watch television. But what happened? All of Archie's friends wind up here, invite themselves to supper, and keep interrupting my program. Jughead's afraid of the dark, and Betty wants sunglasses. Jughead spills milk all over Veronica, puts sandwiches on my chair. Now, I have stood all I'm going to stand. You kids can watch television if you want to. But from now on, I want you all to be absolutely stock still. I don't want to hear a word out of any of you. Not a peep. You understand? Yes, Mr. Andrews. And I... I, by George, am going to spend the rest of the evening enjoying this television set, starting right here and now. And so we conclude our telecasting for today. What? We'll be back on this same channel tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. Good night. Oh, no. I miss the only program I have on the Andrews will be back in just a moment. And now, back to the Andrews. It's later that evening. Archie's friends have all gone home, and peace and quiet have returned to the household. Fred, I'm terribly sorry we had all that trouble, and you missed the only program we could see tonight. Now, oh, Mary, look, it doesn't matter. In a few days, they'll hook up our aerial and we'll be able to watch a lot of channels and see all the television we want. Mm -hmm. But right now, if you don't mind, I'd rather forget the entire episode. I don't want to hear any more about television tonight. I don't blame you, dear. But, Fred, you better hurry and get dressed. Dressed? Dressed for what? We promised the Hendersons we'd come over tonight. The Hendersons? The, the Hendersons? Mm -hmm. We did? Oh, Mary, that's fine. But there's nothing more I'd enjoy right now than a good game of bridge. Oh, Fred, I forgot to tell you. We're not going to play bridge. We're not? We're not? No. The Hendersons just got their set hooked up and they invited us to watch television. Oh, no. <laughs> Listening to another chapter of The Adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Jantel and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics Magazine. 
Archie was played by Bob Hastings, Jughead by Holland Stone, Mom and Dad Andrews was played by Alice German and Cliff Hall, Veronica and Betty by Gloria Mann and Rosemary Wright. The television voice was John McGovern. This program is produced and directed by Kenneth McGregor. Remember that starting June 8th, Archie Andrews will be heard over most of these stations on Wednesday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Meanwhile, listen next Saturday morning at our regular time when we bring you more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Dick Dudley wishing you all a very pleasant weekend. So long!